Hello, my name is Janika and welcome to this travel vlog. Today I am taking you to the beautiful city of Delft located in the Netherlands. It is a beautiful city that you should definitely consider visiting. I have just arrived to Delft and I'm currently at the Delft train station and today's plan is to spend the day here and explore this beautiful city. I've been here before but I wanted to bring you guys along as well and film a proper video of things to do in Delft and what it looks like. Let's start walking towards the center. So unfortunately it seems like we're having a bit of a cloudy day here today which is a bit unlucky because lately the weather here in the Netherlands has actually been amazing. It's been like 30 degrees and sunny and yeah, the perfect summer weather. But of course today when I come to Delft to film, we get a bit of a overcast day. Oh well, no can do. That is the part of living in the Netherlands. You never really know what the weather is going to be like. It's always a bit unpredictable as you might know, but yeah. Let's hope maybe the sky would clear out at some point and even if not, we're still going to have a lovely time today. So, firstly we have arrived to the famous market square here in Delft and yeah it is on this square that usually the markets or usually they are <laughs> uh, where the markets are held and over here we have the Stadshaus so the city hall and then over there is the new Kirk so the new church is probably one of the most famous landmarks and definitely the most famous church here in Delft and I have actually never visited the inside and apparently you can even climb up to the top and actually I can even see you probably can't see it on this camera but I can see that there are some people there on the top um, yeah so from there there should be some very amazing views over Delft so my idea for today's first activity is that we're gonna go and check out the church and climb up the tower But before visiting the church and the tower, I have a few shops here that I want to visit that are right next to it. And that is because they sell the Royal Delft. So one of the things Delft is the most famous for is the Royal Blue Delft. They are these blue and white ceramics, basically. And here in Delft, you can actually visit this like museum slash factory where you can see where they are being made and learn about the history about them. Unfortunately, today I have decided not to visit the factory museum because I've already been there and it's a bit outside of the city center. And if we go there, I won't have time to do everything that I have planned for today, but I'll insert some clips from when I was there the last time. It is a great place if you are interested in ceramics and also the history about Delft and the Royal Blue Delft Company. Royal Delft, the perfect place to find the authentic, world-renowned Delft Blue bathware. I want to travel to the time when everything was made by hand by skilled craftsmen. And yeah, because we can't today actually go to the museum, I thought we could instead visit some shops where they sell the Royal Blue Delft products instead. So over here we have the first little shop it is beautiful, but definitely not something that is cheap to buy. Okay, as you can see, these ones are much cheaper, but it says mock, which basically means that they are like a replica. So they are not the real deal. Different from the shop we just went to, this one sells the real deal. So let's go and check it out. Here you can see a bit more the real prices. Not everything is that expensive. Okay, let's now really visit the church 
and climb up the tower. Let's hope it's not too crazy of a climb. So I'm about to start the climb, but when paying in, I basically paid for a combi ticket. So it included this church and the tower, which is what I'm gonna start with, and then also another church. So I guess I'll be visiting two churches today instead of one. Let's begin. Luckily, it is not busy here yet. I do have a bit of claustrophobia. I notice that in situations where I'm climbing a tower, for example, and it's super packed with people, and there's people in front of me, people behind me, and I have to walk in a certain tempo. So I'm very glad that's not the case today. <sighs> Got a long way to go. Let's have a look how high up we are. Oh, definitely getting there, but also definitely not at the top yet. The lady at the shop told me to watch out my head and still I managed to <laughs> hit my head on this thing. Oops. Seems like we've come to some kind of outside area, but I still believe this is not at the top. It seemed like there was still more stairs up. So I guess we can get all the way up there and like up here, there's no one. <laughs> So I think this is some kind of middle point, but yeah, I guess if you would get really tired on the way You could climb up here and you wouldn't have to climb all the way to the top And it seems like here you can get around the whole thing. That's pretty cool. It's quite narrow though Now when up here the cool breeze feels really good Maybe it was good I didn't come here on a day when it was 30 degrees in sunshine <laughs> Actually now when I think about it, so Yeah, over here you can see the square where we were just walking from above Looks very cool, doesn't it? Let's continue our journey to the very top. It's quite a lot of stairs. I wonder how many. I'll Google and insert the amount of stairs here on the screen. Okay, we're still not at the top, but there's another like stop on the way. Not sure what this is, I guess it has something to do with the bell or something. I'm not sure to be honest, it doesn't really say. Oh, maybe it would be smart to actually tie my hair. Uno momento. Oh, I had to take my jacket off as well because it's a very humid day actually. Yeah, I feel like that makes me sweat a bit more, the humidity. Oh! Hey. Ow! Oh, this is not going well, but I think with a head bump we have arrived. Finally to our destination. Whoa, we're very high up. Wow, these views are definitely amazing. We're definitely very high up. So if you're scared of heights, <laughs> this is maybe not the thing to do for you. If you see where the city hall is now, we are definitely much higher up than the previous spot. I guess if you get really tired on the way or something, start feeling bad, maybe you could only climb to the first like outside area because that's already quite nice. And yeah, if not, then you get to come all the way up here. Okay, let's start our journey back down and this time try and <laughs> not, not bump our head everywhere. Maybe it's better if I don't film all the time because I think that's what, then I'm not really paying attention. I'm gonna head down now and we'll fast forward to once I have reached the bottom. So, see you soon. And so we are back downstairs. I am now in the church, so that's why I am whispering. Let's check out this church now next. This church is from the 1500s and what makes it special is that it's the final resting place of William the Orange, who was a statesman and army commander and played a key role during the war with Spain. His efforts led to the establishment of the Republic of the Seven United Netherlands. So that was definitely a very fun and nice visit. Climbing up the tower was really fun and the views were amazing. Do keep in mind though, it is quite tiring and it's also very narrow. If someone's coming the other direction at the same time as you, you just kind of have to try and hug the wall and squeeze past each other. There's not a very much a spare room. I do definitely think it is worth it, especially because when you pay for the tower, you also pay for two churches to visit. We'll still visit 
the other church a bit later today I definitely would recommend doing that when in Delft all that climbing has kind of made me thirsty and hungry and it's starting to be lunchtime so let's go and find some nice lunch spot now next Here is the lunch spot that I am coming to. Looks very cute. So many choices. I don't know what should I get. Should I get a sandwich or pancakes or I don't know. As I couldn't decide what to order, they had this like breakfast platter where they had a bit of everything. It was like pancakes and eggs and uh, juice and tea and everything was included to it. I decided to go for a second breakfast today because I can. Why not? received my food looks really really good there's some bread with egg and cheese there's some pancakes and a croissant should keep me full for a while <laughs> it's quite a big portion but maybe let's start with the egg bread I don't think it's gonna work I'm just gonna do it like this croissant that I have is filled with uh, I think brie cheese looks really really good and then my pancakes are topped with fruit and granola oh, the croissant's like warm and there's honey drizzled on top and with the cheese inside so good. Then let's try the pancakes as well. Wow, everything's very, very good. That was an absolutely Amazing mm, lunch, breakfast, brunch, I'm not sure, but meal. Um, it was really good and the location was really nice to sit by the water and yeah, I am very satisfied. If you're looking for some nice spot where to have lunch when visiting Delft, you can maybe check out that one or you can check out one of these places that are mentioned here as well. Now, the next thing that I wanna do is that I wanna check out an old and historical monument here in Delft. It should be about a 10 minute walk from where I am now. So let's head there. We have arrived to our destination. Eastern Gate is a historic and iconic monument in Delft dating back to the 15th century and even to this day there are people living in it, which I think is pretty cool. next place but I must say that Delft is honestly one of those cities where it's fun to just walk around wander along the cobblestone streets and look at all the cute houses there's a bunch of kennels pretty much 
everywhere and people's houses like this one like look at how cute this one is with the wisteria and the yellow color and everything ah, I love it I love to just walk around and see cute places like this so when visiting make sure to have some time to also just stroll around to be honest because it is very lovely now arrived to the Odekirk, so the old church. I wasn't originally planning to visit this one, but it was included in the ticket that I bought earlier, so might as well go and check it out. The Odekirk was founded in the year 1246 and is a Gothic-styled Protestant church. When I was visiting, they also had some artwork on display to see. This church is where the famous artist Vermeer has been buried and you might recognize his paintings which are very famous like for example the girl with the pearl earring. I am now just by the Prinzenhof Museum here in Delft. It is a museum about William the Orange and probably one of the more famous museums that they have here. I have already visited that before, so I'll add some clips from that when I was there. Right next to the museum, we have this park and then over there is some kind of art shop. I'm not sure, but let's check both out and see what they are. So I would like to say that this next place that I'm going to visit is a bit of a hidden gem to go to here in Delft. At least I believe so on Google Maps there's barely any reviews and there's also no one here. <laughs> and yeah, it's a bit of a different kind of place. But next we are going to be going to this water tower, I believe it is. And it is a water tower that <laughs> you can climb up, I think, so more climbing. But it is also at the same time an art museum. I thought that sounded quite fun and unique, so I wanted to go and check it out. Seems a bit random, but I believe it's open. What does it say here? Visit the Delft Water Tower, a historic national monument from 1896 and defining architectural landmark within the Delft cityscape. With your ticket you can visit the tower freely and enjoy the special view of Delft. Let's go and get a ticket. I wonder how much it is. I have, I have no idea. Let's check it out. Before visiting the water tower, there's also the exhibition part of this. Um, <laughs> it seems extremely random. I don't really know where I have come. <laughs> I am also the only person here 
even the workers like barely even noticed me coming in. I don't think they're <laughs> used to having a lot of visitors. I don't know, at least not at the moment. But it seems pretty cool. Maybe if you want to do something a bit off the beaten path, a bit something different, if you feel like you've already done all the basic things in Delft, then this could be an option. But yeah, let's look around at this exhibition for a bit and then let's go and check out the water tower. That's what I'm more interested in, to be honest. But this also seems pretty cool. Somehow it's a bit creepy <laughs> to be here all by myself. What's up with this creepy music? Oh, I'm so disappointed. The whole reason why I paid for the ticket was so that I could visit the water tower. But apparently it is only opened in the weekends. Although it said it's free to visit if you have a ticket. And I kind of wish they would have clarified that when I bought the ticket. That by the way it's only for the exhibition. I couldn't visit the tower. So now I paid 10 euros for that very weird thing. <sighs> oh well, no can do I guess. I just happened to walk by the windmill here. It's called Molen de Roos. And it says the access is free whenever the windmill is open. But yeah, I thought in order to make myself feel better that I couldn't visit the water tower, that we could visit this windmill instead. have reached the top of the windmill. It is of course not nearly as high up as the tower was, but it's very cool. I think over there, for example, is the Nieuwe Kirk that we visited. I think that is maybe also the Ode Kirk, so both churches that we visited. down and here downstairs they even seem to have a windmill cafe and they have a little terrace and everything and it looks very cute yeah definitely recommend coming here and it's even free it's very much worth it to visit feeling quite thirsty at the moment so I think I'm gonna try out this windmill cafe it seems to be just what I need I think we order from inside Got myself this like homemade pear juice or soda. Damn, it's a bit windy. But yeah, I'm really thirsty, so let's try it. Quite sweet, but also very refreshing. weird kind of weather today. It kind of feels like the way it feels before a thunderstorm. The air feels very like heavy and humid and yeah. I wonder if we will have a thunderstorm maybe tomorrow or something. Look how much that tower over there is like leaning. I don't know how well you can see it on camera but it's like 
not straight at all. It's completely leaning like this. Yeah, here in the Netherlands, that is a very normal sight. And for someone who enjoys photography, all these crooked and leaning houses make it a bit challenging because no matter how I take the picture, it will always look like as if the picture would be crooked, when in reality it's just that <laughs> all the houses here are crooked. I guess it adds to the charm. afraid the time has come for me to start heading home but I have had a lovely day here in Delft exploring the city it is very beautiful I love walking around here and there's a bunch of cute cafes and restaurants where you can visit and also museums and churches and towers and yeah there's a lot to do so if you're ever in the Netherlands you should definitely come on at least a day trip to Delft. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more videos from me also in the future remember to also subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again on my next adventure. Bye bye!